Sadhana is not just closing your eyes, all of it is sadhana. Sadhana means a device, a tool or a device is a sadhana. So we are using certain activities, certain way of twisting your body, certain way of breathing, certain way of using your mind and activity and many things. All of it is sadhana. There is no seva, sadhana, this one, that one, everything is sadhana. What seva will you do? No, no, I went and cleaned the temple floor. That is sadhana. It is so simple for us to buy a machine which doing cleans up in the morning. We don't do that because we want to give you an opportunity to do sadhana. We want human beings to have opportunity to use their body, their mind, their emotion, their intelligence in a certain way. Without doing that activity, they will never truly meditate. And many of you know this, if you sit here with me, you meditate, the moment you go out, you struggle. If you do not dismantle certain karmic structures, you will not meditate in your life know that. All the walls must be beaten down. Activity is the best way to do it. Everybody in the ashram is really excited about this Linga Seva because uh, I think Isha is known for Dhyana Linga. Ashwing, I was standing right uh, next to Dharma uh, pillar and uh, I was receiving guests and we were holding Namaskaram and receiving them and uh, it was a very profound experience for me because uh, you know when you receive you bow down to people and uh, when you bow down to people you actually uh, feel that everybody, everything in the world is actually bigger than you. I felt like when I was bowing down to them something from my personality fell and I, I became more polite, more gentle. The range of activities that we do in Martuman uh, ranges from, you know, picking up the stuff for the feed. From morning, uh, cows are fed three, three to four times a day and I realized that I'll be doing a lot of physical activity. So, personally for me, the challenge was to overcome that. Martumane has uh, really taught me the only one skill that is required to be here or rather anywhere, not just in the ashram, it's just to be willing. If I'm willing, I will be able to do any activity. So usually when I would go to Biksha, I would sit and eat or rarely I would volunteer to serve. But doing Anaseva is much different because you take part in all of the arrangements before the food gets served. I never realized how much work goes into creating the ambience that we have at Biksha. So doing Anaseva pushed me to the limits physically, socially, um, emotionally, mentally, but yet I felt very energized through it and uh, looking back, that was the most intense time for me at the ashram. was initially difficult because uh, we got ex we were like totally exposed to sunlight rain we were in soil entire day but once our body got adapted to that I started enjoying and when I started actually putting my hands in the soil walking barefoot on the soil I saw so many creatures so many worms insects the life as Sadhguru says life is throbbing everywhere around maybe for the first time in my life that I was just sitting near the uh, stream side looking at the grasshoppers and I totally forgot who am I, where, I, where did I come from 
and just totally I melted, melted in that moment. Everything is same for me. I don't feel like something extraordinary has happened. But uh, I know that lots of devotion has come within me. Even though they try to make it uh, funny so that they do namaskaram all the time, they may do namaskaram hundred times just to make, just for fun. But each and every time I bow down with devotion. That uh, devotion part has become more in me. So any activity, everything that you do, every breath, every step, every word, everything, every simple thing that you do must become sadhana. So there is no seva, there is no sadhana, there is only sadhana. <laughs>